Hey, it's Barb, and we're going to make another wreath. So this is all the supplies that you need, some flowers. These are artificial flowers. Uh, I'm going to do um, some other tutorials on using real flowers, but actually everything's pretty much the same. We're going to use this um, stem wire. This one's covered in um, a light colored um, paper, glue gun, wire cutters, scissors, and a variety of ribbons. I tend to like the trans, some of the translucent ones. Some of them have like an iridescence to them. And then I like the satin ones. And then there's one other ribbon I really like a lot that I actually don't have right now. So we'll uh, more on that later. So um, here we go. Okay, we're gonna start with um, two pieces of this stem wire. It's called cloth stem wire. We're gonna weave these two together. Okay, so the next thing is you can use one of two things. You can use this uh, paper covered wire, which I kind of like, or you can use any of these. Um, this is called wrap tape, and this is what they, the florist use to make headries for little girls um, and brides. So there's white and then there's green in different um, thicknesses. So I'm gonna today, I'm gonna use this um, paper covered wire. So I'm going to stretch it out to be longer than what I need, about like that, and then I'm going to cut it. And then I'm just going to start wrapping it around. So just start up here and just wrap it tight, and then just start wrapping it around like this. And I, I do this because I like the nooks and crannies that it makes so that when you're putting in different things, like ribbon and you're putting in the different flowers, you can kind of um, get things in different layers. Okay, that's all I need to show you. Okay, so now we have that all done and I'm just going to form it now. I'm just going to do it. You could do it around something that's round. Um, I'm not a very exacting person except for when it comes to exposure, so um, that's what I do just for now. Okay, we're going to get some ribbon now. Okay, so a um, couple things I wanted to mention is um, the sizes of kids and babies' heads. So a new, uh, preemie is about 12 inches, uh, and then it goes up from there, um, like uh, newborns, 14 inches, uh, up to 16 inches for maybe six months or so, 18 inches for a year, and then about 20 inches for um, a child. So as we said, um, there's all different sizes, but one thing I like to do is kind of make one size fits all because uh, you can adjust it. Um, but I am going to make this one for a newborn, so I'm going to cut a little bit of this off. So I'm going to go like this, just cut a little bit of this off. Hold on. Okay, so this is about 14 inches for a newborn. Let's talk about ribbon. So what I like is I like the ribbons, some of the ribbons that are translucent, and then you also have satin. So you know, you'll discover what ribbons you like. There's a ribbon that I swear by that I don't have today. So hopefully I'll get that and I'll show that in an, another tutorial. So the next thing we're gonna do is pick a ribbon and we're gonna wrap. So this is the ribbon I was talking about. I don't know the name of it, but I get it at Michael's and they, did, they didn't have it, but it comes in different colors. This is the kind of the brown. It comes with like an ecru. Uh, I don't know if it comes in white. I know it comes in a blue, so it's really, really nice. So we're gonna use this piece. Um, and what I would normally do is I would wrap this whole uh, wreath and then I would have some hanging down like this. So when I wrap it, I leave it like that and then I wrap this all the way around it. But today what we're gonna do is we're gonna use, we're gonna cut this in half. I'm gonna be kind of proactive here and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna glue a couple pieces to the end. Okay, I didn't mention that you should have your hot glue gun uh, ready and super hot. And you can also get the kind that uh, won't burn you, it, um, the new kind, but I actually don't like that kind. I guess I'd rather get burned. <laughs> So we're just going to put this little piece of ribbon here and you know just be careful and I, I'm just working in an old Piece of cloth. That I don't really care that much about I think it's I think the dog it's a dog blanket actually So, you know, you can just be kind of careful and Just be careful that you don't burn yourself, but you probably will because I usually do all right So so we just have this this is gonna hang down Pretty right. Okay, so there's that now. We're gonna wrap it I'm kind of working backwards. Normally I would have a bigger piece and I would go all the way around, but I'm going to select a different piece. 
So you want things to sort of be flowing always. You want to think about that. So I want to have this hanging down also. So we're going to have a couple of different ribbons and you can have them different lengths, but for now you could just have it be the same length and you can cut it later. So I'm just going to kind of go around here anticipating how much ribbon I would need like this and then just go down like this and, and just, you know, do a little extra so you have it if you need it. So sorry, I was kind of off frame. So now I'm just going to leave this like this and if you want, you can put a little glue right there to just connect it like that. And now you're just going to take it and just start to weave it around. Now you can do this like very neatly if you like. I tend to like it a little, um, well you can twist it and, and have it kind of be like that. You know what I mean? Like that. And you can twist it and have it be a little lumpy. And then it kind of looks cool underneath, or you can just do it flat. It's up to you. But I'm just going to do this, and you can figure out the way you like to do it, but I'm just going to do this, and you don't have to watch me do the whole thing. Okay, so this is where we are so far. We've wrapped around the wreath and we have two um, beautiful cascading little ribbons. And now we're going to um, start to apply flowers. Okay, so I decided to add another ribbon when I looked at it again, so I'm gonna do that. You're gonna do the same thing. You're just gonna take a little bit of glue and just dollop right there touch it down and we're gonna just wrap this around we're gonna do the same thing that we did before okay so we're close to the end of it and I'm just doing the like I said the same thing before I just sometimes this helps contain the first ribbon a little bit and it also gives it a nice a nice tone with the two tones depending Every single time you make one of these, they'll be slightly different, so it just depends on your mood. And this is a little bit short, but that's okay, because I can cut this, and I can, this one could be a little shorter one, maybe I'll cut this one short too. Okay. Okay, so you kind of have to anchor it somehow so that you can work on it without it falling all over the place. So I'm just using a ball jar, but you really can use anything you want. Um, today, I normally always put ivy, small pieces of ivy. Now, in the um, summer, I have tons of ivy, excuse me. I have tons of ivy and I put on fresh and I make fresh, um, you know, wreaths all the time. So it's not the case today and I don't have any ivy so what I've decided to do is I'm cutting up these flowers here I'm going to cut them up and find the smaller petals I'm just going to put them underneath so I think they're going to look pretty good so let me do a couple so I'm just going to cut off from this I'm just going to go in and I'm just going to cut them I could have put live ivy on here but I think I'm going to sell this to one of you so I didn't want to put live ivy because they'll die and then they'll look nasty. Now you can, when you make um, live wreaths, you can cut the flowers off a couple days later and then reapply. I, I do that quite a bit. I can use a wreath, a base of a wreath for many, many times. Okay, so we have these cut and when you place them, Usually I start over here a little bit so I can get a feel for what's going to happen as I come towards the center. So you want to put them at different angles. One might go up, 
you know, especially with ivy, and we'll do that later, one could come down and then go up and then come down, up and down. You definitely want height and, and some on the bottom, okay? Sorry, I can't work without music. So anyway, sorry. Um, so I'm just going to stick these on and we'll take a look at it. Now when the, uh, when the glue is still a little bit warm, you can push these to where you really want them because it's a little bit hard, you know, when you're working with hot glue, it's very difficult. So I just kind of wanted them a little flatter. And you can just really kind of position them. Everything's wire, everything's bendable, so that's really cool. Okay, so now um, we're gonna start to add some flowers. Oops, sorry, there we go. Okay, so the next part is, I just happened to buy these little embellishments. So they're little flowers. You can get them at um, Michael's. Um, that's where I got them. So I'm sure wherever you're from, you can find a store, either Joanne Fabrics or Michael's or something like that. So I'm just gonna cut them, and this is when it's good to have these little wire cutters. So I'm just gonna cut them and uh, make a little pile right here. Okay, so we're just gonna start to, to put these, and the nice thing about these little flowers is not hugely, but they are slightly different, so this is nice. So we're gonna just kind of put them at the base of this other little leaf here. And the nice thing about these two is they have their own little leaves, which is nice. So we're just gonna kind of add them at will, you know, you just kind of do what you feel. This one's kind of going down, so we'll have that one. And this is the front, so we want this to look really nice. And also the side, obviously, is where you, you would see the baby. They kind of look like little gardenias. So I'm just going to do this and then we'll go back live. It's a good idea every once in a while to just pick it up and hold it in front of you and just, um, you know, look at it and imagine how it would be on the baby. And obviously it's not finished yet, but while it's still warm, you can move the flowers a little bit so you can imagine what it would look like. All right, so now I want to put in like something in between these flowers. So I have these little things. I mean, you're just going to find things that you find. You're just going to poke around, but these are kind of cool. They're just like little clusters. So anything that looks like this to make it a little bit more interesting, a little bit more textural. So it's going to be a little more intense because these are very, very small. So I'm going to start to put them in between the roses. And side note, I'm going to start on the side. I can figure out what kind of mistakes I'm making first and then as I get you know closer to the center you know you don't want to make as many mistakes because that's what you really see so I'm just going to start to put these in little places here and it's it's very small work so just going to be real careful with your fingers You're not burning them but, and there's some that are a little bit bigger so that's nice. When you're looking for flowers, you should always be looking for flowers that have a gradation in size. So it's from small to large, because that will really help you make things look really beautiful. I'm just going to poke these in here. And you know, I, you can use a pencil or you could use like your scissors, you know, something other than your fingers. All right, I'm going to work on this and we'll come back. So now we're going to add a couple other flowers. And these are the same um, decorative little flowers that I got again at, at Michael. So we're just going to pull a few of these off for the accent. Okay, so now we have some of these on here. As you can see, this one's sort of facing, this one's facing up, and this one's out. So they're just at a little bit different angle, and we'll do like a couple more over here. Okay, so we're almost done. The last thing I'm going to do is I have these little, these little pearlescent sticky buttons. I guess I'm not really sure quite what they are but you know just another Michael's rampage buying stuff so I'm gonna put them on in a few places and then we'll be finished okay so we're actually almost done I've put in those little teeny buttons you can see them just every once in a while and now the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add two um, pink ribbons at the back just to accent Everything else is brown and, and like a crew, and we're just going to put these two. And that's going to be it. Just find a nice little spot to put it so that it kind of comes down naturally. 
And the beauty is you can always cut these. So we'll figure out how long you want it. Or I want it. This one. You can pick it up and hide it, put it underneath. You can add, you know, as many ribbons as you want, but this is a pretty good amount. And I'm just going to cut the ends here. Usually cut at a di at a diagonal like that. Now this might these ribbons might be too long for a newborn. It depends, you know, they could be down the back of a newborn or whatever. But you obviously can cut them and, and make them fit however you like. So we'll do a photograph with the child wearing this and uh, probably put it up for sale. So that's, that's how to make a wreath. Try it and uh, experiment Try and uh, <laughs> have fun with it. And um, then stick it on a kid's head and do a beautiful picture. Take care and uh, we'll see you soon.